zones six and seven, here's what could be growing in your garden and here's what should wait until after the last frost. I'll be sure to put a list up here so that you can screenshot it for later reference. All kinds of leafy greens, including spinach. Most leafy greens enjoy the cool weather, but don't forget to succession plant so that you can have some well into the summer. Once that other bed has gone to seed, I'll have this bed to harvest all of my salad from. Carrots also enjoy cool weather, but one of my tricks to growing carrots year round is that I plant them surrounded by peas. As the peas climb up these trellis, it will provide a shade for the carrots in the middle, keeping them nice and cool. Now's also the time to plant horseradish. And even though potatoes will be harvested in early summer, they should be planted in late March, early April. Brassicas like cabbage, cauliflower, and Brussels sprouts all love the cool weather, so now's the perfect time to plant them. Be careful though, because brassicas tend to attract cabbage moths and harlequin bugs, so make sure you cover them adequately. If you're like me and you cook with onions in just about every meal, now is the time to plant them. And I love to plant radishes this time of year because they're usually one of the first things that I harvest in the spring. And who could forget strawberries? Strawberries do really well in a raised bed or even in containers. And if you're looking for a pop of color in this early cold spring, pansies are the way to go. And of course, there are plenty of things that you're going to want to wait to plant until you're out of danger of all frost. Tomatoes love the warm weather. Do not plant them too early. Both spicy and sweet peppers are heat-loving plants. Eggplant is the same way. Plant after the last frost. Herbs like basil and parsley and most flowers should wait until the warm weather arrives. This is not a complete list. If there's anything that I missed, let me know.